Greetings fellow humans, it's Melinda the Good here. Today I'm playing The Curious Expedition. This is a roguelike game where you do some questionable things. Anyways, I will probably explain as I go along, start a new game here. Basically you get to play as one of the renowned explorers. We got Darwin here, Mary Curry, scientists, all these famous people, Amelia Earhart, and you start off, each person starts off with different things. For example, we have an animal handler, we have a sailor, and also have a donkey with different items as well. And I already played Darwin, that's why he has a gold portrait. And there's more that I can unlock once you finish your expedition. Of course, the goal of each expedition is A, not to die, and B, gather a lot of rare artifacts for the museum. Um, sometimes it means stealing it from the natives, which is a little bit questionable, and yeah. Anyways, we have to pick a character, and I'm not sure. The, so there was an expansion, which I've never played before. We could play Roll, Roll, Ronald, and Molten. I don't actually know who this person is, but apparently he was very important in the Antarctic exploration. Oh, we have a Chinese folk he hero, healer, and master of the martial arts. We can just kung fu our way to victory. I kind of want to do this because he also has a water buffalo and they carry a lot of stuff. The cook is not very useful. Got a bit of food, some torches. The first day isn't great. Darwin was pretty easy because he's got this, the Scottish soldier. Awesome for fighting and a translator, which is awesome for communicating with the indigenous tribes, yeah. But uh, also with the shotgun, he does not have a lot of weapons, but I guess we don't need weapons because we got our fists of fury. So here we are. Welcome back to the Explorers Club, old friend. Have you heard that we are building a statue to honor our most famous explorer? Or it is that you have a good chance of seeing your likeness on that statue. However, I am afraid to tell you that you are not the only candidate. You and your rivals have six expeditions to prove who is the most famous explorer within our club. So these are the people we're up against. Okay, now go explore adventure awaits. And I believe this is the difficulties of the different modes. I'm tempted just to go for the tourist trip because I don't want this to end so quickly. We'll do the expedition, the normal difficulty. Uh, who are we up against? We're against Munson, Lovelace, Tubman, Burton. Tough, tough competition. Anyways, we have to try each expedition. It's like a round. We explore, and we have to try to gather more artifacts that is worth more um, merits, I think, than these guys. So, or fame, fame, that's what they're called, fame. We get two choices. The Humpa Lumpa Jungle, or the Drylands. Amelia, or Lovelace is in the Opulent Jungle, which sounds like a much better place. And this gives us the hint of what we can find in each of these territories. Unfortunately, I'm not very good with depicting what those pictures are. It looks like a temple and some huts. A huts and a cave system. I think I want to go for the Humpa Lumpa. Although the dry... No, no. I think we'll go for the Humpa Lumpa Dragon. Drylands don't have a lot of water. And that actually might be an issue. Okay, so we start off on our expedition. After a good night's rest, I arrive at the harbor. We have a little time before the ship would be ready, so I imagined what would lay beyond the horizon. A trader approached me with a request. He requested a message to be delivered to the chief of a village that we should surely stumble upon during our trek. So this is like a overall mission quest. Does that make sense? We get like a quest per expedition. And I think I will take it because it's easy. It's just delivering a message. Don't have to kill anyone, that's fine. He handed us a sealed envelope, which I promised to deliver. Oh, I didn't realize doing that would just start the thing. So on the boat, there were the, our party. And we have this map, lots of hexagons, in which we can explore. And the goal of each expedition is to reach the Golden Pyramid, where we will get 
hot air ballooned back to her ship. So after weeks of traveling, a shoreline rose in the morning mist. We had arrived, and it was time to sally forth. So we have Miss Winters, our water buffalo, can carry 10 crates, which is awesome, because inventory is limited, and we will see that during our journey, my greed will get to the better of us. And I will be whining a lot about how I want to keep everything, but we can't. We have Alfred, the cook, slash butler. Uh, what does he have? Cook meat to gain sanity. Okay, so we, this is our sanity bar. And ow, we lose sanity as we go through the jungle, naturally. Um, Heart of Darkness style. But we could gain sanity by eating and other activities. This is our standing with the natives. If you steal from the natives, this goes down. And if it goes down to a certain point, they attack you on sight. We don't need water, I don't think, because I think there's plenty of water around. don't have anything store in storage because this is our first expedition. So let's just begin. It might be favorable to deliver the letter first. Luckily, the man had indicated the location of the village on our map. Awesome. So the village is over there. It's not too far away. So, by moving, you can see that it does decrease decrease our sanity. And no, how do I do this? Oh, you can mount our animal. Oh God, I made that sound so wrong. We can ride the buffalo. We can ride the buffalo. So it lets us move a little bit faster. We lose less sanity. Um. But I don't think it's very good during combat, because you do not want the animal to die. And if you're riding it, you can't protect it. So we're going to travel to Edge because there is the fog of war. We can't see what's ahead until we travel a bit. Impassable. What? Wound treatment? What happened? What? What is this? Oh, we got health regen. Got the letter. Capable of treating wounds. Increases health regen for all track members. Oh. Level up to gain this perk. Awesome. Aww. Okay, anyways, we're... Oh my goodness. So I think that is some sort of event going on there. But right now, I just want to reach the village. And it's actually taking quite a bit of sanity to do so. Ooh, what's that? It's a shrine. Okay, I think there might be some cool stuff there. But going through the jungle does take a lot of sanity. I think it's too good to pass up, though. I think. Amelia already is... Or not, I might keep calling her Amelia. She was against me in the last... Expedition. Lovelace is already quite ahead. We don't have anything, so we, I think I need to gather some artifacts. Okay, so let's go examine the shrine. A temple before us warranted both fear and respect. Its stone walls were covered with ornate engravings. A circle of dried up blood had been drawn around the whole structure as a warning for anybody that dared to enter. The structure showed some big cracks, but it seems secure enough to explore. So I think these were... So we have to... Reading is actually quite important in this game. It gives us clues of what can go wrong once we enter the temple. And I don't know, I've never seen the dried up blood before, and that seems really, really worrying. Dry, big cracks, I think the whole thing does have a chance to collapse, and we could probably die. But, you know, treasure. Oh, and our little people say things, which are also clues as well, which I tend to ignore. So we arrived at what seemed to be the treasure chamber. We quietly looked around the majestic hall, an altar illuminated with breathtaking ambience, stood atop a plinth. Let's go investigate it. Oh, so we do have treasure, 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 treasure. We have a golden plate, so the red dot indicates that it will increase our fame. So fame is 70, value is 50, funds 40. We're definitely taking that. 
And this is like, so the tome pages are somewhat like spells. But we don't know what it does. Let's just grab all of it. So negative standing means the natives aren't too happy with us. But oh. Oh dear. Hold on. Let me read this. What a glorious day. The artifact would sit atop the altar no longer. The moment we obtained the treasure, the earth began to shift. We heard outside as the shrine tumbled in our wake and a huge mountain erupted from the ground. So not cool. Also, the natives aren't really happy with us. Negative 3 is actually kind of bad. Negative 10 is really, really bad. So, some sacrifices have to be made. Okay, so, lots of mountains erupted, but at least we don't have to go through the forest anymore. Let's go here and see if we can find a way around the mountains to the village. We are slowly going very insane. Ooh, Skull Mountain! Awesome. Uh, this does look like a dead end, although we do have rope. I don't know if I could get there. No, I can't cross the mountains right now. Um, hmm, this is not good. This is not good at all. We have to try to find a way around to the village. Okay, there might be a path over here. Oh my goodness, this will take so much sanity. I have actually never gone insane, so I don't know what will happen. We can always eat chocolate. Actually, you know what? Let's do that. Let's try to eat some chocolate. Try to gain some sanity back. It's only 10, it's not a lot. So, like, day one, going insane already. Okay, so we did find a path around. Something tells me that if I just went to the village first, I wouldn't have to go around all of that. Can't go through the water because we don't have a boat. Okay, we are just going to barely make it to the village. Oh, do I... Insanity risk is 40. That's, that's quite a bit. I think I will eat another chocolate and we'll make it there. Yay, we made it to the village. We carefully approach a mysterious native village. The natives look well-armed and formidable warriors, meaning we do not want to get on their bad side. The villagers observed us with curiosity as our trek arrived at their settlement. We moved freely about the village and considered our options with these people. The villagers have been awaiting us. They surely had advance word of our arrival. They were cautious but politely offered their help, perhaps to see us leave sooner. Yeah. Anyways, let's deliver the letter first. Ah, plus two standing, that's awesome. We brought the letter to the village chief. To reward us, the chief regaled us with stories of the greatest wonders to set eyes upon in the region, including a holy shrine, which he marked on our map. Any prior attention was beginning to abate, remained courteous, and offered us more help. Okay, like we tried trading with them, Amazon River style. They have, ooh, a spear. We don't have any weapons, so I kind of want this, but we don't really have anything that I want to trade either. We need the chocolates because we're really close to losing sanity. Oh, I want this too. Oh, and it, so when you hover over it, it shows you the value, and right now it's at negative 25%, which means, hey, I want to give out, give this out cheap. We don't need water. So this, this is negative 50. This is really worth it. What do I want to trade? Hmm. So this indicates what I need to... Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. So one rope is not enough. Oops. One torch is not enough. I don't want to give up my torches, actually. They're really useful in the game. I need the chocolates. 
first aid seems to be important because we don't have any weapons. We might get hurt a lot. We might need these. What about the scroll? It is at 50%, which isn't the greatest. Yeah, the scroll doesn't do anything. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe one torch. One torch. Two ropes. So the items sometimes are useful in different situations. Okay, it's a little bit in the negative. Oh, I can't deal. Keep misclicking. Okay, so I want the jewels. Let's trade. We can also recruit villagers. Uh, but no one wanted to join our trek. I don't blame them. We were like near insanity by, by the time we reached their village. Okay, let's rest up. I told the team to unpack our things and prepare for the night. An elderly couple asked me to settle an argument for them. They were inclined to know whether a man and woman were deemed equal. I think we'll go with the very pacifist answer and say both are equal. I don't know anything about this tri tribe. I don't have a translator. I'm just a kung fu master, so what do I know? After the mediator, I replied that both have their virtues. They smiled at me and nodded. Wow, we did not gain enough sanity back. So. I slept in great comfort and safety. The next morning, I was woken in by a group of native children, surely poking fun at the strange foreign fellow. The atmosphere was beginning to get somewhat tense. We could tell that the villagers wanted us to leave. Yeah, they don't want us here, but I'm kind of still insane. And resting the village does restore sanity, but the problem is my fellow club members are also racing against me. I think I'll ra risk resting one more night. Oh dear. Okay, so the natives were willing to let us take shelter in an empty hut, however, they demanded a gesture of goodwill from me because of our less than virtuous reputation. Because we ransacked their temple. Oh my god, they want a lot. Jerks. However, I say no deal, they'll probably attack us on sight and we would die. They want their jewels back. So at 50, I can't even barter. Uh, maybe, maybe one of the first aid kits. And a bit more rope. Jerks. Ah. We convinced the villagers of our good intentions, so we unpacked our belongings and prepared to spend the night with the natives at their campfire. A curious elderly man asked me a question. He wanted to know whether it is true that the European men have multiple wives. I don't know, I'm Asian. Um, I mean, disregarding King Henry, I guess everyone, most, most men have one wife. If they know what's good for them. I told him that our religion frowned upon polygamy. He nodded, but it was unclear if this answer satisfied him. I don't know if that changed anything. <gasps> okay, so we're at negative two standing. They are starting to hate us. But we got more sanity back. Alright, I think it is time to leave before they... They get really angry at us, even though we delivered a lovely letter to them. We're definitely going to leave, but that's going to have to wait for next time. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all later.